Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we'll be checking out the particle command. Uh, funny story, kinda not funny story, eh, funny story. I plugged my microphone into my speaker, which it it just didn't, it, as you can probably imagine, it wouldn't work. But uh, yeah, now everything's messed up. I had to change a whole bunch of settings. <laughs> it, it's not that funny. but. The particle command. What you want to do is type slash particle and whatever particle you want. These are all of the particles that are available. And then what I do is just type in the coordinates 111100. One, one, Boom. There you go. Now you got your particle. Okay, that's the video. Bye. But wait, there's more. Let me tell you what these last numbers mean. I'm sure you probably know what these numbers mean. These are the coordinates x, y, and z. But uh, this 100 right here, okay, if I do 1, whoop, if I do 10, so this is how much you want. And you can just keep going up, eventually it might crash your computer, so that's how many times this thing plays in just, just that, you know, like, just like that. I was snapping my fingers in case you couldn't hear. But uh, the second number is what I just call craziness. So if I do 0.1, it's less crazy. If I do 0 0.01, it's even less crazy. But if I do 2, boom, it just goes everywhere. So this is the crazy meter. So let's just do 0.1. And then this is the area that you want the particle to be in. So if you do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0.1, it would, oh, that looks cool. It would just be in a small, very small space if I do, uh, if I do this. So, and you can you can change this all you want. It's very customizable. It's actually such a nice command. You can have it go like sideways like that, or you can go um, up one or seven. Whoop! Have a little tower there. So yeah, that's that's the command in a nutshell. But now, what if I wanted to have a particle follow me or? follow something. I would need the slash execute command, which is it's a cool command. I don't fully understand it, but this is what you need to do. You need to slash execute player's name or at P or at A or whatever, their coordinates, and then the particle at its coordinates. And there we go. Woo! And you can do do something like this. Have it just dangling over your head like that. Looks pretty cool. You can even let me just uh, let me just get a a donkey as my test subject. You can make everything have that so that donkey will have a stupid particle on it because it's so stupid. Look at it over there, mocking me. But yeah, then you can customize this as well. You can have this go crazy. You can have it just do whatever you want. So I hope you all enjoyed, and hopefully I was clear enough and. Thanks for watching. Bye.